Hello friends, welcome to the service now word and today we'll see part 3 of scenario based interview question in service now. So let's see the today's task. So the today's task is write a script to print number of incident category wise. So sometimes like what happened like interviewer asking some theoretical questions and after that like uh, maybe they will not give you the some scenario and they will directly give you some task and you have to do via script so that time what kind of task that they are giving that uh, that i have covering today so this simply it's a very simple only like we have to print the number of incidents category wise like for the category let's say database category is there so how many incident for database category you have to print like that so let's go to the instance and try to complete this so here i have came in instance I'll just open the incident. So if you see here, like um, incident table got opened, and if you go to the column context menu, and if I click here and click on group by category, so if you see here for for the four records they don't have the categories empty for one record the categories database so like that result we have to print via script so let's open the duplicate tab and try to implement it and remember whenever they are saying write a script so we have to write the background script if they are not specifically mentioned like what you need to write so I just came here and just write where here equal to and this time we are using the glide aggregate API. I'm just gliding the incident table. Then what I'm doing, I'm just grouping the categories. So we are using the group by function and here I'll pass category then after that i want to count all the number of records for particular category so i'll use the add aggregate function and there we'll call the count function right add aggregate Here I'll write category. And then we have to execute the query. And then after that, this while loop while chia dot next. And here just print the category. So I'll just put one string as well as message right plus gr dot category and here and after that I want to print the count of the number of records for that particular category so I'll write like number of incident records And here I call the function use the function gr dot get aggregate and here just put count category. I'm just running this script. So if you see for the like uh, for the category is empty the four total number of records are four for the category database total number of incident records are two so like that if you match it here like for empty four records for database for one record why it's showing two okay so maybe one i've just checked the open one if we check the all then we'll can then we'll match it clearly
Yes, so for database 2, for hardware category, number of records are 10. So for hardware category, number of records are 10. So like that. Like that similar uh, scenario, you will get like, uh, maybe they will not give categories. Maybe they will give like, you have to print the number of, uh, incident, like count the, uh, print the count of incidents assignment group wise. So here we are using the category instead of that we'll just paste we'll just write assignment group assignment underscore group i'm just copying it here from and just okay Here also, I'm pasting assignment group, and uh, here also, I'm pasting assignment group. And uh, instead of category, I'll just update it to the assignment group. I'll just run it. So, if you see we are getting the records correctly only and if i this time if i ungroup from here and I try to group via assignment group group by assignment group see for 28 records there is no assignment group for two records, the assignment group is database. For nine records, assignment group uh, like assignment group is hardware. So you see, we are getting the sys ID. So interviewer may ask like, uh, I am not interested into seeing the sys ID. I want the particular group name. So in here, you so what you do here, you just need to add one more additional function that is get display value. And you will get the assignment group name. See, oh, it's still saying undefined. Let me see. Okay, in V, we have to make V capital. See, we are getting the empty, the total number of records, the incident records 28. For assignment group the database total number of records two for assignment group hardware total number of incident records are nine so like that we have to do it okay so like i have just make a small change here like we have uh, in if we are getting the sys id so in that time we have to use the get display values we can get the display value as well so i hope you got it and if you have any feedback please write in the comment box Till that time, thank you, God bless you all.